you're worried about self-harm, if the teenager is going to inflict self-harm, is it what you mentioned before? Just tell us again what some of the signs might be to make sure that that's not what they're planning to do or thinking about doing. Sure, some things like running away, um, rapid change in moods, maybe engaging in some higher risk behavior like substance use. Mm. Um, they can also be talking, uh, not just talking about death or dying or in, in a joking way, but even drawing or writing about it as well, or liking things on social media that are related to it, um, <clears throat> and any kind of snappiness too that comes along with it. Right. Mm -hmm. There's also things like cutting, yes. um, That's and it's not always a sign that they are going to, they're planning to commit suicide, but that's definitely they're harming themselves. So I definitely think, you know, be aware of if you're, if it's the middle of summer, we're in South Florida. Mm -hmm. If it's the middle of summer and your kid is always in long sleeves, you want to see yeah. why. If they're always wearing jeans, you want to see why. Mm -hmm. Kids will be creative and they will find mm -hmm. different ways to hide when yeah. they're cutting. So be aware of your child and, you know, check up on them. Okay, very important. Now, one other thing, unfortunately, uh, and I don't have to tell either of you this, there is still some sort of stigma surrounding getting treatment sometimes for mental health, receiving therapy. So what would you say to parents watching today who may be considering it, they're on the fence, they think maybe their son or daughter needs therapy, but you know, they're wary about it for whatever reason. What would you want to say to those viewers today? I would say try it, just try it. And that, you know, seeing a therapist or seeing a psychologist doesn't necessarily mean that something's wrong with you or that there's something right. wrong with the situation. That's what we're here for, to be able to give you that evaluation and say, you know, you could use some extra support right now. And that's right. that's really how I look at it. I think Nicole looks right. at it the same way, is that we're here for support. We're not here to fix anyone. Mm -hmm. We're just here to help you figure out how you want to make any changes in life that you want. So you can always come to us and say, you know what, it's not for me and that's okay.